you know, it's such an awesome story. And it's amazing how you've evolved as a man, man, you know, from a college student as a coming into the league with a dream, as you said, you're a big dreamer to live in your dream, uh, having the wife, having the kids, having the career. And this is a big off season for you because you've had everything, right? You've gotten three rings. You've gotten the ultimate in coaching. You, you mentioned Andy Heck. Andy, I remember Andy Heck at Notre Dame. That's how old I am. Uh, I, I can remember him playing at Notre Dame. He was a hell of a player. Um, and now he's a hell of a coach by all accounts. But you, uh, you're, you were a free agent once, and you signed back with Kansas City. So you've had that unbelievable continuity. Do you live in Kansas City, or do you live in, in Illinois still? Uh, yeah, so we, we rent in Kansas City, um, and we still we maintain that uh, that address because OTAs and everything. But we uh, we live in Chicago for the most part of the off season. Um, nice, so nice. So you Kansas got the family. So you, you're right there, kind of in the Midwest. But now yeah. you're a free agent, and you mentioned providing for your kids. I mean, what do you, what kind of dialogue have you had with your agent? I mean, I'll say this. You know, because you follow me on Twitter, I've already put out, hey, man, the Niners need a guard. Go get Nick Allegretti. Uh, I attached you on there. I, I think you would be a great Niner. And, heck, if you wanted to bring Chris Jones with you, we'd be okay with that. <laughs> um, but uh, uh, that might solve the entire offseason in one day. They got Allegretti and Chris Jones. Uh, something tells me he'd have more questions at the presser. But uh, you, you never know. I, I, I'd ask you a bunch. But what? What is your what's your mindset? Is it like I need to stay with the Chiefs no matter what, or do you look at the face of your wife and your babies and say, you know what, my body's not going to be able to play like this forever. I'm in my late twenties. I got to make this contract work, and maybe I'll go somewhere as the starter and try to try to get that big payday. Um, you deserve it at this point. What, yeah. What's what's your mindset? It's uh. It's tough. It, it is not a cut and dry uh, answer. Um, last off season, you know, I mean, I don't know how, I mean, I, I guess I can, you guys know the answer. Am I able to speak on prior off seasons? Yeah. Negotiations. I yeah, yeah, you... the um, But yeah, during the, during the, whatever the free agency window, shoot, San Fran was a, was a team that I absolutely spoke with and nice. I mean, couldn't couldn't have more respect for John Lynch and uh, Coach Shanahan and the the organization they're running there is about as top end as it gets. And when I spoke with them, they they mentioned that, and I I couldn't remember if it was Coach uh, or John Lynch's uh, message, but they were you're, normally their message is where are you going to have a better chance to go in a Super Bowl and. They hit me with that, and they were like, "I understand that the, the one other place is probably Kansas City." So that's right. the yeah. that's the challenge. It's as a as a football guy, how do I leave that organization? How do I leave countless Hall of Famers, mm -hmm. um, one of the top offensive line coaches, it's probably the top offensive mind, you know, that that I'll ever play for, and Coach Reed. Um, how do I leave that situation? It's easy to say, yeah, look for a starting job. And that is, that is absolutely what I'm looking for. Um, so it, it, my plan is to look for a starting role. And I, I know that there are plenty of teams that see me as a starter in this league. I know the chiefs see me, uh, as a starter. However, we have probably one of the best interior offensive lines in the league. And I love those guys. And I, I know that's, that's the reality of that situation. Um, so to ask my mentality, I don't have a cut and dry answer, um, because you know, you think about family and it's Kansas city is a great area to raise a family. And that was a huge, huge reason that I decided to go back to the chiefs last year. I just had two newborn twins. There was a lot of change in our life. We, we didn't really need any extra change. Um, so I, I made that decision and now, you know, they're, little over one it's a lot easier to handle um so i, I think family wise there's really not a, a bad place to raise a family we can find you can find great areas at any of the 32 cities across the across the league so that's not as much uh, on my mind this year um and yeah the the chance to get a, a bigger payday and 
put more money away for my, my family is absolutely a thought as well. Um, so there's a lot. There's only one out. market. There's only one market, Nick, where you can have a beer with Brian Benefitemi and Larry Kruger. <laughs> uh, and, and that's NorCal. Uh, y- yeah. You'd be a great, absolutely. you'd be a great Niner at right guard. Could you, can you play right guard for the Niners? <laughs> yeah, I listen, if they, if they give me the opportunity to be the starting right guard, I, I would absolutely love it. Um, I, that is what I want. I, I want to, you're right. I, I've had a, had success at Super Bowls and gotten a chance to start a ton of playoff games and not check those, but you know, check those off my list and being a full-time starter is really the thing that I want to do. I want to accomplish it. I need to accomplish it um, for myself because I know that I, I can. So that's, uh, that's definitely the biggest, the biggest emphasis on this, uh, free agency market. Um, you know, obviously money's involved with that and I'll do my best to throw out my accounting background and look past the <laughs> California taxes if I can. Um, but it's, it's pretty hard to look past it if I'm being honest. Cause I, I, I know the, you know, the ramifications of it. You, your agent doesn't take a fee, a, a post tax, he takes a free tax. So that that's included as well. Um, but yeah, it's free agency is wild. I'm glad I ha- I've gone through it one year b- before, and I know at least what to expect a little bit. I'm a little more prepared, but uh, I'm excited to see what comes this next couple weeks. I'm wearing oh, yeah. short. I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt right now, Nick. It's like 70 yeah. degrees out here. Um, I'm co- I'm coaching little league. Uh, we're out on the field. It's it's not cold. Uh, you know, you, you'd love it here. It's it, it's. Uh, I'm wearing uh, I'm wearing shorts too, but it's 30. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that's because you're, that's cause you're a badass. <laughs> yeah. 